Yes, this drive is already dead. It's the one I took out of my desktop. I've already broken the golden rule. The damn thing keeps parking and timing out every single time I connect this through either an enclosure or this USB to a SATA IDE adapter. This thing works flawlessly, so is the power supply. I've ruled it out with several power supplies, which I have, so. Now, this drives a Deto. It's a Sam Seagate 1 terabyte, 7200 RPM model. Sadly, I'm disappointed that this thing just kept timing out, and there's nothing I can do about it. However, the only thing left to do is to have a bit of fun. And I'm going to hook it up after. And it will quark out. That's the error that it gives. Disappointed, but what can you do? I had a spare drive, so this video was made long after this was all done. This drive has since been, uh, my platter's been used for a wind chime. And, uh, it's part of a large wind chime. And the magnets are on my wall. So, That wasn't supposed to happen. That was actually the plug. SATA plug, which got in the way of the power supply's external fan. You know, intake, outtake fans. I tend to uh, modify power supplies. So, whatever. So, let's get this bastard open and turned on. If you ever do this, only do it in the clean room. Otherwise, you're fucking stupid. Now, before I power this on, yes, the power supply is on. You can hear it. Crack open the goods. Four platters. Beautiful. Two nice magnets. Let's power this bitch on. There's already dust on it, obviously, because I don't care. Because this drive is dead. I'm surprised it didn't park on flatter. I'm really surprised. There's no land. There's a landing zone. That's why it sounded so different inside the actual drive. It didn't sound like that inside. Now, when I put this back on, I shouldn't do that. So I'm going to hold it down. That was an obvious scream of bloody murder. Now, it's not going to make that sound, obviously. Okay, that's weird. I was wondering what I kept hearing inside my machine. Wow. Okay, it's a flute. It's a fucking flute. That's cool. <laughs> wow. Now I know what it needs. It needs something in these magnets. So I'm going to put these back in. Okay. You know, maybe it needs this flute. I don't know why. Because some of these are really funny. Really funky. 
Come on. Did I put it in the right hole? Yes, I did. In you go. In you go. Now you know why I didn't put this video as the main video blog. Okay. I'm going to plug it in now. Let's see if it plays its tune. Okay, I'm gonna unplug it. I'm gonna insert the longest screw into the spindle now. And we'll see how it behaves any differently. I guess it loves the airflow inside an air conditioned unit, which is funny. Okay, now. I'm gonna cover it. No. <laughs> they don't like this. It's always the best of fun to violate the tone arm. Oh, I just touched the platter. Oh well. Stop it immediately. Let's give it a bit of torture, shall we? Okay, better way to do it bit of an issue with this cord anyway, but we'll see. Okay. It does not like this at all. I'm not even pushing hard. Backwards. Go backwards, will ya? The AC motor is really struggling now. Oh, won't go backwards. Oh no, I'd love to reverse the polarity of this if I could. Man, that's really hot on my thumb. I didn't even like that at all. Oh, the motor hates this. She really hates this. Oh. Now I'm going to violate all the principles. This is one of the worst things you could do. One of the worst things you could do is hold it right there. I'm doing my best because this thing is pretty strong. Now it's going to shut off, isn't it? Yep. Well, let's try it again. <laughs> That's about all, folks. So, oh, right. I forgot about this part. I'm going to take the whole thing apart. Right? I'm going to take everything apart like you normally do. 
I'm gonna take these damn blasted screws out first. Then I'm gonna let these bladders fly off. Exactly like I would. And this is the best part about it, but I'm gonna do it with a cover on, so you know, it doesn't cause any problems. Of it flying all over the place and causing injury. And uh, I have a pill container, which can be used for the screws, so nothing gets lost. Because I tend to use those and things. I'm missing a screw. These sometimes fit the diameter just right. So, uh, those are the supporters for the platters. Don't need this, but I'll just stick it there. Should, yeah, take these off first. This is going to be fun. Take the spindle off. Yes, this is the most intriguing part. These will more or less be used. Ooh, backwards. Oh, the only way to get to move? That's such a horrible thing to do with a hard drive. Look at that. Dare should I turn it off? Yeah, I will. Fuck it. Oh, I can't even power on! <laughs> it's buzzing. Backwards, no, it doesn't want to go backwards. <laughs> oh, that was fucking terrible. I just cleaned it off. Look at that. Purple polisher. Oh, that was terrible. Now, oh no, oh no. Oh well, she can't turn on. Oh, that was a death sentence right there. <laughs> oh, whatever. They just all screwed anyway. Alright, now let's get this off. Ah, oh, yes. The wonderful, atrocious way of torturing a disc. An automatic screw removal, too. Oh, whatever. I'll just get it all out. Whoa, I knocked the pill container over. That was funny. Okay. These screws are not magnetic, unfortunately. So it's gonna suck. Whatever. Let's get them out. Turn it on. Yeah, I'm gonna step back once all the screws are out. And I'm pretty sure they are gonna fly off the platter, but that only disc head is actually gonna keep this thing on. Quite. Possibly the foolish thing I'd ever do. Not really I leave the screws on, they'd fly off all over the place, but I'm not about to make a mess. I don't feel like making a mess. And that wouldn't be a nice thing to do, because then I have to hunt for screws all day. I got two cats and oh yes, this is getting loose. And I don't want the potentially choking on the screws. That would be a horrible thing. There we are. Oh, there we are. Get that one bastard off. Okay. There we are. Oh, lovely. These are going to fly off. I'll just leave that on because it's probably going to stay put. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoa. Okay. I don't trust it. <laughs> oh. Oh. Take that out of there. 
Oh man, that was dangerous. Oh fuck. That was dangerous. Oh, yeah, that normally causes a head crash. All right, I'm gonna unplug it. Plug it back in. That was dangerous, and I don't feel comfortable risking my life. Oh, Jesus. There we are. That is obviously closer. Wow, that's the only thing keeping all the platters in place. Wow. Holy shit. Without this thing, they would have flown all over the place. I'm going to do it without the cover because I'm not scared no more. They want to fly off. They sure want to fly off. nasty experience well it's about to spin back up again so oh that would be nasty wouldn't it could potentially start it up by shift the platter a bit oh let's take a platter off let's start it oh thankfully for these covers uh oh Okay. Uh oh. Ah, there we go. Oh, that's horrible. Sideways now. Okay. Oh, that is terrible. What have I done? Okay, let's give it a full start now. Thankfully for these covers, these sort have of flown. <laughs> wow. Without these covers, this thing, uh, We'll be flying all over the place without that protection there. <laughs> wow. Pillows in the way. Pull it out. There we are. I guess it's not going to start again. <laughs> yeah, I've totally fucked this up. 
upside down. <laughs> That's a retaining pig. Ah, spindle. Okay. Violent, holy shit. <laughs> okay, upside down for this. Okay. Oh, that did not sound nice. I think I killed it. Yep, I killed the motor. Oh, wow, it actually wants to set up again. <laughs> wow, it actually managed to start. Wow. Again. Ooh, that's ugly. All right, I've done all I could. It's already suffered a massive head crash anyway. Oh, wow. I forgot it was even on. All right, that's it. I'm taking it apart. Thanks for what? Actually, I'll let you watch the whole video. Why not? I'll just get to it. Had enough fun torturing this bastard. Oh, beautiful magnet. That'll be handy. So I'll stick it up there for the time being. That's the park piece, which allows it to park off ladder. Take these off. It's more than necessary to keep it plugged in. So I've had fun with this. Oh, it took the bit out. I didn't want the bit being taken. Sorry, drive. Oh, perfect. Right in the head. Right in the hole. Okay. Now, here's one of the other seen problems I gotta deal with. I gotta take this off, and this doesn't come off easy. There's a screw on the other side. Okay. Give me back my bit, please. The screws are a steel. It would be. There we are. <sighs> Seems like this on my back is not easily good. Oh, I gotta take out the circuit board. That's the only thing that's good. I need a smaller screwdriver. Ah, here we are. Oh, you need a smaller okay. bit. Here we are. This should fit now. I forgot. Oh, this takes two five. Okay. Let's get this off. Okay. Still not fitting. I thought it would fit. Bit snug in there. And what is this? I guess it needed a T6, not a T5. Sizes can be deceiving. <laughs> so T5 and a T9. Gotcha. And some people do purchase these circuit boards, so. I'm obviously not going to be selling this LG circuit board, Seagate circuit board, because I don't care. I mean, I really don't care. But the screws are handy. 
Some of them can be used for Bluetooth speakers and the likes of Uki branded ones. So that's why I keep these screws just in case. Obviously I won't be able to power it on without the circuit board. Hence why I'm not going to discard it just yet. Once I take all the goodies out, I'm going to power it on and close the cover on it. Circuit board intact, but with the platter still on. And shit is probably going to fly inside it when I shake it. I am not going to let them fly out in the apartment because that would create a mess and a big occupational hazard and I don't need to be injured. I could do it in the sub basement but I would need a trigger. Perfect. Beautiful circuit board. Notice how careful I am. That's the screw. <laughs> okay, I'll just get that foil across and just get that out. That's for this tone arm. Or whatever the heck you call it anyway. That needs a different size screw. Okay, back to my T9. And you're wondering why this video takes so long? Well, I gotta do shit. I gotta get this done. This is how long it usually takes to get shit taken apart. Done. Okay. Now, the heads can be taken off. Really don't care about those things anyway. I'm gonna leave them off. I can get the magnet off. Nice. The head parking piece. I don't really. Give me back my fucking piece. Don't care about that. So I can discard this piece. It's another nice magnet. I don't want to stick them together, otherwise, I won't be able to get them apart. Okay. Now that I've gotten these done. Spindle rings, of course, I'm going to keep them on there. So I want to have a bit of fun before I take this apart. I got to take off the platter safety first. There's where the fun comes in. Yes, oh yes. Do you know what I'm going to do? I gotta take off all the platters first before I can actually put them back on without the retainers to keep them in place from flying off. Oh, that wasn't undone enough. There we are. Once I've done that, that is when the fun starts. Naughty boy time, or naughty guy time if you want to put it that way. Okay. You know what? Fuck it. That's what I wanted to do. Okay. All the platters are spindle separators are off. These are going to spin first as one entire platter. Get these bastards taken off. And separate these spindle rings. That's the third one. Okay. I'm going to put them all on the motor. Come on, bitch. All on you go. This I don't need. All right? Oh, look at this. You could put four more platters on here. Okay. I gotta screw the circuit board back on. Oh, boy. I just misplaced the Okay, screws. circuit board's back on. Let's get all in one. And, uh... Oh, this almost stuck together. Number two. Number three. All printy and all. Number four. And the spindles. And let's cover this because I'm not about to have them fly all over the damn place. You know, for safety reasons. Because I'm like some, I actually care about my safety and I don't want to get hurt. Oh, fuck it. Let's just sit on there. Alright, backwards, forwards, I don't care. Just do this. I'm going to put two screws to hold this okay. shut. Okay, just closing this back up again. Took me a while to get the correct screws. 
Let's plug it in and power it on without the holders. Everything is stacked inside this junk case, so let's see what happens. Uh oh, you gonna power on? Okay, I'm gonna plug it, plug it back in. I guess he doesn't want to power on. It can't power on. <laughs> wow. Oh, it's trying to. <laughs> okay, oh, I actually sick. solved the problem. Something was actually prevented it from turning. Now it's uh, out of the way. Same metal guitar sound. Except now. I'm not going to dare take that off. <laughs> it's off anyway. I'm going to turn it back on. It actually reached the high RPM. I'm not going to dare take this off. Because this could fly. There's nothing safe on this. Now it's at full 7200 RPM. Oh! Upside down or it? Power cycle? Turn them on. Let's see. Uh, you gonna turn on? I hear something. Oh, I had to not. Oh, damn, this does not sound good. Nope. It can't start up. Why? Okay, sideways then. <laughs> it's scraping along the top, that's what it's doing. That is so unbelievably dangerous. That's warm on the top here. I was grinding the top of the platter. Exactly what I knew would happen. That does not sound good.
Lucky I had the flutter cover on. this off. No! Let's see what the aftermath looks like inside there. Oh man, that must have been chaotic. Oh, that plat that cover's actually a bit warm. It was cold. Now it's warm. Let's see if it got ground up a bit. Okay. Hmm. Not much to see there. But there's scrapes right here. Oh, yeah, these were moved. All right, I'm going to take them all off. One. Oh, these are not coming off. Oh, I'm a negative feeling about this. Oh, it came off finally. All right. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the, put the spindle on. Put the okay, there's on. only a screw on these points now. So we're going to see. Now it's much looser. And these screws are actually loose enough where I can lift this off slightly. What happens? Oh, she's not able to turn. Dude, what the fuck? Okay. It's always that time when the toner gets in the way. Okay. Why? Okay, oh this boy. is the last go. She's basically dead. She does not want to spin up no more. So, I've uh, lost all hope. So, whatever. The motor's dead. Ah, fuck. can you do? All I can do now is... Oh, wait a second. She finally starts to spin up. I don't have the cover secured, so... Okay. Disengage from the cover. <laughs> yeah. Now she spins. File down my screwdriver. Jesus. Oh well. What can you do? She's dead, Jim. And that's about all. Thanks for watching.